All right, welcome to another episode from The Chart Reader. So this is during live hours. I'm a little busier in the afternoons on Thursday, so you will see percentages move. You will see the candles move. Again, it is basically two o'clock-ish Eastern. I'm on the West Coast, it's 11 my time. We've still got, what, two hours left in trading, right? So um, that said, what are we gonna do today? We're gonna look at Rumble AQST and ATRA. So obviously the first two I've talked about before and really Rumble has done, it's done the job so far, right? I talked about this channel between the 100 and the 200, right? The purple line and the blue line. And yeah, it looked like it went up, looked like it came down, looked like it was gonna go up and it did, right? So didn't quite break it today and a little bit of that makes sense to me right because just look at how fresh that line really is right so we'll talk about that a little bit here and yeah aqst looks like it is doing really well actually so definitely has my eyes and then atra is not one i've known of again that one actually came today atra came today this morning on the discord actually so um, yeah, it was a it was a nice one to say the least. But excited to talk about these three. But before we go any further, what are we gonna do? Same thing we always do, right? We'll take a look at the daily and the weekly to see how these things are setting up short term. There are five moving averages. There aren't any horizontal lines right now because again, it's been all about the moving averages. Um, we do have one a little bit above us right now, though. These are the horizontal support and resistance lines that I do draw manually myself. And then when we are done up here, we'll use the MACD, RSI, and volume as our lower indicators. Hey, really quickly, if you can please subscribe to this channel, share this video online with your friends, comment good or bad. Look, anything you can do helps me so, so much with these YouTube algorithms, especially if you can actually share it. It's just a click away, but for real, being here and giving me your time, oh man, I appreciate you so, so much, all right? So before I actually get into this, I have a question for the team here. So. I didn't really know that Rumble is a new video platform thing. I've had a couple people ask me, hey, am I putting my videos on Rumble? Um, I'm gonna look into that over the weekend, but like legitimate, are, are, are people looking at Rumble for, for videos regardless if it's stock, right? Like, is, is, is there a legitimate belief that that thing might take over you? Like, I would really, really love to hear from people that use Rumble. Cause yeah, I didn't even know it was an up and going site, let alone that it was like a YouTube video upload platform, all right? So, um, you know, I don't know a lot about the stocks that I move, right? These are just random three letter, four letter, five letter things. And I let the candles, the the charts, the technicals do the, do the work, right? But yeah, let me know about Rumble real quick, okay? Um, getting into the actual technicals, look, if you watched my last video, okay, one thing I talked about, and I drew the lines, I'm gonna, I'll draw them again now just to have them, but, um, bum, 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 bum. Uh, sorry, you're gonna see some alerts. Look, again, an alert is just that, all right? I'm not gonna like stop the video and like go buy something, right? An alert is never an immediate buy notification. Again, this is what happens with live hours. Um, so when you have two horizontal lines, the, the, the spacing between them is what we call a channel, all right? And it doesn't always have to be one of my manual draw ones, right? Like it could be when, when these five line up well. And one thing I talked about was the channel between the 100 and 200 was a beautiful one. Oh, my cat's at the door. I gotta let her in, sorry. What are you doing? What are you doing? Oh my gosh, you're just trying to play with this thing. All right, get out of here. I'm trying to make videos. Who's a good girl? She's not trying to get in. She's trying to play right now. Okay. So why do I like this channel, all right? A whole mess of nothing. Red, 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 green, 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 red, 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 pretty much nothing. Green, 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 red, red, red. Like this is a very fast up and down, all right? And look, you know my videos. I'm here looking for sustained uptrends. I'm here looking for breaks of all five moving averages and the runs that come with it, right? But hey, sometimes you can use this up and down to your advantage. And there's an interesting going, thing going on with the eight moving average. I'll talk about that shortly, but that is at least something I really wanted to highlight one more time. Because again, that's really what I was hunting, right? Immediately, 
I, and I also kind of said it, I wasn't sure if we were gonna break the 200 moving average, okay? Because look, as I zoom out, number one, we haven't even come close to touching it since June of 2023. As I zoom out even more, I mean, in all honesty, since the line existed and then since we lost the line, middle of 2022, we've pretty much been well under it. You know, there's a couple months right here, about a month right here, and like only a couple days right here, right? Excuse me, from this middle 2022 all the way to this early 2024 we're at, we're barely over that 200 line, right? So you really, really can't just assume. And again, this is the last one for a reason, right? Like this is the hardest one to break. So I'm I'm here, you know, just, just being realistic, right? There are things I like though. And again, what I talked about was the eight moving average. So again, there was an ability to go all the way up, all the way down, all the way up, all the way down shouldn't happen as long as we can hold the eight moving average, all right? And and what's happening is there is this like tight little wedge thing. Look, I'm not a pattern person. I don't know what the up wedge does versus the down wedge. Like that, that's not my game. I don't, I don't move money that way. Like, you know what I mean? Um, what I care about is a break of that 200 moving average and look, this line right here, this 694 line, very, very much lines up with, with this bottom of the, of the what is this, August 2023 little, little horizontal, right? So what would I say is the money line? I think the money line is 740. Now, I realize that's a decent distance between where we're at. We're at 675, right? And 740 is, is a good ways up, but again, there are gonna be times when you get over a line, right? I need to believe we've broken the line. And I think if we can get into that 740 range, this thing should go to a, to eight, my line's at 811. Um, this thing should go to eight and hey, maybe even as high as 920, right? Obviously people are wanting more and more of this, all right? Someone on the Discord has been, hunt she's been hunting 11 for a minute. Ooh, RBT, what's going on there? We'll, we'll take a look later. Um, you know what I mean? But um, yeah, she's she's been hunting our um, 11, RPM is on my head. <laughs> she's been hunting 11. She's actually flipped this thing a couple times and, and I love it, you know what I mean? But for me, I'm not gonna talk about 11 just yet. I think 811 and, and what was this? Let's draw this, let's just draw this. I think this will be something right here. Maybe I can go a little higher up to this 990 line. Let me zoom out just a little bit. Yeah, let's come to 990. I think that's the better line. I think these are the two lines up. Look, the one thing we do not want, we do not want this to go below $6. I would say $6 is the death line because if we lose $6, it will actually be a fast drop to this $5. You do not, I don't know what a sixth is on the top of my head right now, but that's not a good percentage to go down. You know what I mean? So a fifth is 20, no, it's not 20%, 20, yeah, it is 20%. So again, I don't wanna, I'm not gonna do bad math. It looks like a double digit if I'm doing some, some stuff in my head, right? But. Um, do not lose $6. Take me to 740 and I'll start to believe, all right? Let's look at the weekly. Oh, man. Okay, this is our money line. It's 720. Where's 720 at? 720. I'll take 720. I think if you're willing to not be a little greedy and make it make it prove a little more, 740 I don't think will hurt. But yeah, I think I think this, and you know, in a lot of ways, I think I still actually like 740 a little more because 740 is actually gonna put me over this weekly resistance of the 50 and then obviously over this daily resistance of the 200. No, I take that back. I like my 740 money line. Let me know your thoughts. Let me know your opinions. Let me know what you think of Rumble. Like I said, I'm gonna do a little homework myself over the weekend, but um, yeah, I'm already a little busy with it all, but I do my best to like, you know, do it all, right? I, I love this thing, I really, really do. AQST, let's check this out. Look, 
AQST is one that I've um, I've stocked. I, I like stocking stocks. <laughs> um, I covered this. I don't remember when, but I know I've covered this one before. And look, if you've watched my videos before, you always hear me say it. I'm going to say it again. Look, the eight and the 20. These two lines are your best friends or your worst enemies. And look, it's never great to lose the eight moving average, right? You never want that. But if the distance down isn't too bad, hey, the 20 is a good place to catch and go. And I mean, look at this thing. Sorry, I just wanted to click right here. The, the RSI was getting hot, 79, 80, 79, 75. 88 like this thing was running hot for almost an entire week all right it ends up coming down to a very very healthy i mean textbook even 32 and now it's working its way back up right so i love the divergence on the rsi again divergence just a fancy word for two lines going away from each other all right i'm hoping the macd mimics it gives me that same divergence it looks like it right it looks like the green one will go over the red hopefully tomorrow um today was a decent volume day it was it looks like a healthy incremental growth i like that and again break that 50 day average you know i want that and look what's interesting here is the 50 day average is actually growing so the fact that we can hit the growing 50 day average today is important i need some more tomorrow all right i do um i think there's reason to believe that this thing wants to go to 290 if this breaks 290, that's obviously where we're going to start getting a little on the on the happy side, right? Maybe I can draw this line right here around 340, but um, yeah, I think this wants another attempt at 228. Look, I always say it: over all the moving averages is a beautiful thing. All right, break all five and fly, and that's what we're trying to do. MACD hopefully resets. RSI clearly has reset, and again volumes growing the fact that the 50-day average is still going up and going up pretty steadily and again hitting it today i like it all right where are we on the weekly oh man what's this thing at 317 where's 317 at yeah it's basically the the middle of the gap Okay, I'm not going to draw that line, but that's a that's a back of the pocket number right there. I'm liking this. I think this this hopefully confirms tomorrow and and goes from there. But yeah, all about breaking the 290 line, right? That's that's definitely what we're hunting on this thing, all right? Let me know your thoughts, let me know your opinions. Let me wrap it up with ATRA. Okay. Man, I am liking this one, all right? It's actually a little bit of the same comments as the as the last one, all right? So um, again, I cannot pretend to take credit for this thing. Again, like I said, boom, we did a quick search. Sorry, try not to click. Um, you can see I actually started, started early, actually. I was looking at it at some point, but really it was about today. And you can see we've been talking about it a decent amount today. But um, what am I like? First, let me zoom out, right? I don't actually really know what this stock looks like, and that's something I like to do. Look, this is a stock that has been under most of, if not all of the moving averages for a really long time, all right? Um, I can clearly see, let's just zoom into this view right here. Since, since March of last year, I mean, pushing almost an entire year, we've been well under the 50. We have not even gotten over the 100 and we have not even come close to remotely touching the 200, all right? So this is a stock that does not like the moving averages at all, okay? There's some interesting things happening and obviously a lot of it is starting with this gap right here. Look, do I know why this thing gapped down? No, not at all. But my goodness, this thing was actually over a dollar and fell to a quarter. That is a horrible, horrible drop, all right? Look, a lot of people talk to me about trading these kind of stocks, right? Because obviously there is no resistance here and that's, that's what, I call this a bottom feeder trade and I really don't like trading these. Hey, you can see that someone made some amazing money, right? And hey, I'm not really here to talk about that, but trading a gap down right after when it's good looks like this 
red, 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 red to green, 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 right? Um, what I'm focusing on more is right here because what I'm starting to see, and I'm gonna zoom in just a little bit to start getting rid of the like silly outlier volume, all right? Okay, so the 50-day average was really high, right? Obviously, when you're down here and all of a sudden pull up to here, it's gonna start messing with the numbers. As I get rid of those bigger candles, you can see the effect of it. The 50-day average is coming down and it's seemingly coming down to where it wants to be. Because today we were able to beat it and you always hear me say it, volume is king. You gotta get over the 50 day average for something significant to happen, right? Hopefully we can do it more and more and damn, I should not have zoomed out. What I like is this MACD divergence and this RSI divergence both happening. MACD's positive, RSI's at a very healthy 67. It seems like this thing wants more. It seems like there is, let me just go to the weekly because it's going to be the easiest thing to look at. There is nothing, there is no resistance between now and the next line up, right? It's hard for me to think anything other than this thing wants to come to 96 cents, 95 cents. The line's going to come down tomorrow, right? So maybe 94 cents, but it, 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 that, that's, that's, that's what I got in my head, right? Maybe, maybe we come as low as, 72 cents okay but i think this thing wants to go break the 20 go to the 50 break the 50 go to the 100 all right now do i think we're gonna break this 100 moving average line and actually fill the whole gap all the way up here i don't know i don't know and again it goes back to this for for most of 2023 right like i said since when was it march since february since february of last year and we're in february let's let me let me say it a different since late february of last year we have never closed over the 100 moving average there have been wicks over it but we've never candle closed over it you know what i mean so it's hard for me to believe we'll get over it but hey going from 70 to 90 ain't too shabby you know what i mean so um, and then obviously if it goes over, hell yeah, we'll do it, right? But let me just look at the RSI. Ooh, the RSI knows how to get high. It knows how to get to the 80s. It's been to the 80s before. It looks like it was just in the 80s right here as well, yeah. So let's go from high 60s to 80s, and then we'll see what happens after that. Maybe good volume picks it up and takes it. But yeah, ATRA, I am liking this thing. Where is the 20 moving average at? Oh, 88, okay. I think 88 is going to be the 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 actual first immediate target i think i was saying 90 something yeah i was saying 96 no it's going to be 88 then 96 perfect hey let me know your thoughts let me know your opinions you know i appreciate you so so much